hello and welcome to our 1996 international schoolie that Lance and I built ourselves. We bought it with 67,000 miles on it. It's probably at about 75,000 miles right now. The only thing that came with it was this green paint. Everything else Lance and I did. We are going to give you a tour of the inside, the outside, the ups, the downs, tell you how we live in it, what we love, what we don't love. So come along. This is our outdoor activity little section. We extended this back bumper about five feet. So we're sitting at about 30 feet for the bus now. We were originally at 25. We store our KLR 650 on the back here, which is our main mode of transportation when the bus is parked for a while, or if we're in an area we don't really want to drive the bus at. We also have both of our mountain bikes, our generator that powers our AC when we want it, and our cooler. We have 42 gallons of gray water, which our urine and all of our sink water goes into. We also have 14 gallons worth of propane, and that hooks up to our stove and our portable shower. Now that we're done with the underside of our bus, we are going to make our way up to our rooftop deck. Lance fabricated this out of all aluminum, which ended up weighing like 300 pounds less than steel would have, which really makes a difference when building the schoolie. And then I added all the wood on top, and that is where all of our solar lies. So come on up. Welcome to our rooftop. This is kind of just a chill out spot, but it's also super functional for what we need it to be. We made this railing so we could store stuff that doesn't really fit in the bus, which is hence why there's bins here and we can always add more when we need to. We also have our fan and there's one up there as well. Those push a lot of air into the bus and help a ton. These are our 100 watt solar panels. We have six of them on the roof and they power everything that we need for us. Now let's go take a look on what's inside. So first off is our bookshelf. This is kind of just a little junk drawer for all of our quick grab things, dog leashes, um, hair ties, my purse, all of that good stuff. <coughs> then as we move over here, we have our countertop workspace. It also flips down, so it has two purposes. Everything in the bus we try to have multiple purposes for because we don't want something used only once. So this can flip down and we're planning on getting a projector screen to show movies on. Here are our insulated curtains that my Nana made for us for Christmas. Over here, we have our newest addition. We trimmed up this log from a tree at my Nana's house, debarked it, and then we are having all of our friends and family whip in their initials into it. And these hooks store like little things while we're driving. Up here, we have our light switch, we have our thermostat, our LED strip light remote, and then speaker remote. We also added our fishing poles up here as a little cabiny feel, touch. We have two 12 volt desk lights. Here is our shelf that stores all of our knickknacks, our quick grab toiletries. This was the first purchase for the bus. It's our huge copper sink and we basically based all of the looks and aesthetic around it. Underneath our sink we have a ton of storage plus all of our water filtration system is there as well. You can see we just kind of shove everything that we don't know where to put in there and then above that we have our little flip down section this is where we store our toothbrush brush uh, extra toiletries as we're coming over here this is our spoon scissor random section underneath this drawer we have pasta cans extra food storage in there over here we have silverware and honestly this is kind of our junk drawer so we will shut that under here we have our trash can and these are two slide out smaller trash cans. Moving up here, we also have more storage area. This is all of our dishes, cups, kitchenware. Then up here, pretty cool, these are all of our clothes. So this is kind of like our dresser closet section. This is a full size bed. Looks a little small because it's hidden behind this shelf, but it is full size. We did not have to cut it down at all. Our favorite part though is our under storage. So these two doors actually open up this way so we can access everything under our bed from our outside back door and our inside two doors. Under this bed we have four bins, so two bins on each side and they both slide out of these doorways which make it super easy to access everything without having to unload the bike and everything back there. We also have two 42 gallon freshwater tanks as well. This is our huge food storage pantry. As you can see we store a lot of stuff in there. 
underneath is the dog food storage, toy storage, everything along the lines of dogs. And then here we have our fridge. This is a Magic Chef house plug-in fridge. We are trying to sticker it out with all the places that we go to, so hopefully it'll be pretty full pretty soon. Moving over here, we have some book storage above here, and then our hood vent. So we have a fan and a light that can go on as well. This is our little cooking corner with a full functioning oven and stove range top. Down here we try to save all of our storage spaces as much as possible. So we store our cutting boards, pots and pans in there. Our portable shower, jail audio sub, and jail audio amp is also in here. Moving over to our couch. This is our most functional piece of work in the bus. Underneath here is our composting toilet. Under this we have our little toilet paper dispenser and all of our peat moss stored as well. Now for the second function of the couch. Under this seat, we have all of our solar setup. We have our 2000 watt inverter, charge controller, wiring, all the works. Mm -hmm. Now we just make our couch again, put our pillow up, and the third function is a couch. Back here, this was the exit door, which makes it super nice for emptying out our composting toilet because it's actually accessible right through there. Up here we have more storage. This is where we put all of our pots and pans. Two pots and pans. We have extra supplies, toiletries. Another one of our favorite installations. We put this cork board up and we're adding a ton of our favorite pictures with friends, families, art prints that we find and really like. So that will be decked out throughout the summer. As we come along to the front of the bus, we have another huge storage nook. This is filled to the brim with all of our big supplies. We have our original driver's seat that came with the bus. And then we kind of just store bags and everything on it as well. Up here are two more of our speakers. We also are adding hooks and just extra ways to store things. Down here, this is our dash area. We store all of our shoes, bags emergency kit, um, power banks, fire extinguisher, ton of good stuff is stored in this. That is it for our bus. Thanks for touring with us and we hope to see you more in the future. Action. 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 Action.